Cut disclosed that uh, cons uh, consumption of bottled water and other items stored in plastics can cause male infertility. Now, according to the research, male fertility is on a decline as men today produce fewer uh, sperm than in the past and the, and the sperm are less healthy. A Nigerian doctor who shares this theory, Dr. Rashid Abbas, joins us now right here in the studio to make sense of all of this. Dr. Abbas, good morning. Good morning. And it's good to see you. Good to see you too. Okay, so um, when this topic came and everyone was asking, oh, really? Because well, drinking water in the bottle has become part of our lives on a daily basis. So how did this theory come why is this discovery now and how is this going to work you know <laughs> there are so many questions because a lot of people are interested in fact, when, when this when this topic was promoted we saw the reaction on social media and they're waiting to get to know what this is all about so let's start somewhere talk to us about this research actually thank you so much for the opportunity so let's let's take a step back and say how did we get here mm. I grew up in the 60s and 70s. We used to have access to public water. Mm. And now all of a sudden, you know, from there, my transition into the study of sciences and everything like that, I did my medical training at Yale. And now we realize that lack of public water, the one we used to drink just mm -hmm. from public tap, mm -hmm. is actually depriving us of vital trace elements, we call them. These are things like zinc, fluoride, selenide. So now I start practicing. I've been in the practice of men's health now for about 19 years. And what we focus on is just how a man's body work. Woman's problem. But now the data tells us is about 40, 45% men. And so where do we go? Let's analyze the spam. The semen that a man makes, as we all sit here now, we don't have the spam in our body. We make it on demand mm. when we are with our ladies and partners. And the analysis now shows that most men are on the decline in terms of production. And but most importantly, one of the elements of the trace elements is called zinc which you and I only get from the public water. All the bottled water we're drinking, they're pure, but they do not have any supplements in them. There is no fluoride, there is no zinc, there is no calcium, and all these are needed for full development of any man. So in order for you to be a father, especially if you're growing up now, you need to make sure you get all these supplements, and you're not going to get them from bottled water. Hmm. So wow. tell us about zinc. Yes. So zinc is one of those vital elements that we need. Actually, the main function is in our immune system. Mm -hmm. But when we go back to the male genital tract, there is one little organ that we all talk about in men's health called the prostate. Mm -hmm. So when I make my semen, which is coming from my testicle, it needs to be transported to the prostate. The prostate will have fructose mm -hmm. and zinc. The zinc is essential for the sperm motility. Mm -hmm. If I make enough sperm and my sperm is not moving, it's not going to find the woman's egg and there mm -hmm. will be no pregnancy. Mm. So in men's health, zinc is extremely vital. So, so what does the zinc do there? Is the zinc, is the, zinc the power of, you know, what, what, tell me the relationship between zinc and the spermatozoa. Good, about. good. So spermatogenesis is something we make on demand, like you are in the other room and you are getting ready. Mm. Your prostate has that little organ. The only thing it does for us is production. So when the semen is produced from the testicle, where the testosterone, that's our own body fuel, gets mixed up together and you must be well hydrated by the way if you're not well hydrated you're not going to make a lot mm. so once you make all that it gets into the prostate prostate will give it energy mm. through the fructose that's the sugar mm. and now zinc is what affects motility there's something called mitochondria mm. it needs to have that with the cilia so if the zinc is missing the sperm is there there is no moving mm. so the actual motility is the work of zinc is the work of zinc. no now no. tell us um how come that the bottled water doesn't have zinc? Mm. That's the 800, the, the big gorilla in the room, <laughs> because it's a question of the healthcare government demanding that. The producers of bottled water, they're business people. They've met the bare minimum. The bare minimum is produce pure water. Yes, all the bottled water are pure, but they need to do a step ahead of that. That's where public health comes into play. Because when you have things like fluoride, you are allowing little grown-up babies to have good teeth mm. because fluoride is needed for that. Mm. When you give them zinc, you are preparing it in order to have a new generation. But they're not doing that because it's going to cost them money. And so our government needs to step up and make it a requirement that, yes, you've met the bare minimum of producing pure water because all the bottled water are pure. But you will not see on their content any addition of supplements. Mm. That will come at a cost to them.
All right, so, uh, so, so okay, sorry, can, yes. they, can the government therefore insist that you must have zinc in this? But what does it cost the businessman who makes the water to put zinc in the water? Actually, it's a simple process, and we're not asking them to go for a new research. This research is abundantly out there. We're just talking about cut and paste. But to any businessman, they want to spend the bare minimum to maximize profit. So our government needs to step up as an healthcare requirement and say, no, we've accepted the pure water for so long, but now we're seeing the effect. Research is proving it. Let's add all these supplements. It's going to come at a cost, but yet there has to be a corporate social responsibility from our business people also to contribute. All right. In this zinc that is very vital here, uh, apart from water, we can't get zinc from any, anywhere else? Actually, you know, to every problem, there has to be a solution. Okay. You can get zinc from your multivitamins. Okay. So I tell some of my patients after seeing them that, look, okay, I'm not going to stop you from drinking your bottled water, but now it's time for you to get on a complete multivitamin that has adequate zinc requirement in it, right? Because when we see in men's health, yes, the low spam and the spam motility is a concern to us, but we have other issues to deal with, you know, like infection and all that. So we face that, and then we now make appropriate recommendations. Get on supplements. So don't leave the supplements until your old age. It's time for you to get on a multi, you know, multivitamin daily, and that will help. Mm. That's interesting. The, the environment in which we live in yes. is actually different from the environment in the past, where we all went to tap and mm -hmm. water. <laughs> but, but today, people, <laughs> people who use bottled water and the other one will call pure, pure water. water. Is that one... Really, the pure one. Now, yeah? well, there's a place in the Bible that says, "Your eyes are too pure to look up." Well, that was, you, know, was, you are too pure for my good. Yeah? Yeah? So, what is going on? Is it purity is not a sin? I think it's a it's a matter of us demanding because you know. Let's no, answer that question. Is the pure water? Is yes. it really better than the bottled water? No, the bottled water has been shown to be better than the pure water because we live in an environment where everybody has bore oil. And yeah. there have been some reports that some of these pure water are coming from bore oil. Yes. The, the bottled water have a little bit of requirement to meet up the NAVDAC requirement and all that. So, yes. No, in terms of fertility, I'm talking about no, pure no. water. The, the, the because water. it comes from, bio, pure, well, from bore oil. Exactly. And so it doesn't have all the... All the chemicalization that uh... is, you know, from location to location, the mm. sediment of your borehole is different. Mm. If I make a borehole here mm. compared to if I go to the island, it's we're different. not going to get the same chemical composition. Mm. And so we need a good regulation. If not, if we leave this to the business people, we're on. How, how do we begin to take this regulation thing to another level where we become more serious? Because now there's a new consciousness amongst people where, because I took a bottle of water as the, oh, so we've been drinking this and then we're not getting the right thing from this, apart from just the satisfaction. Oh, oh yeah, I've just quenched my thirst. Talk to us from how to get government on board. So we all need to be educated consumers. And when we're educated consumers, we have the information now. It's about what do we do with it. Election is coming. It's time we talk to our elected officers that, look, this is what we need. They have an healthcare committee, obviously, and they have think tanks to further verify the research and say, look, then let's look at the data. A lot of these Western countries that even have access to better water, why are their fertility rates going down? We have the answers to that. They choose to have less and less children. So they accept, it, they accept that this thing has no zinc. Yes. And we don't even care for zinc exactly. because we're in sync with it. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the more we know, the better we should have. Yeah. So now we have the information, and then it's time for us to go to the front with it and let our elected officers know that we can actually make changes to this. The consumers are there. We're a huge market. Almost every Nigerian I know drink bottled water. Mm. I do. And so now to let them know that, hey, all it takes is additional pennies on it for you to supplement. We need calcium, we need zinc, we need, you know, selenide on it because this helps, especially for men. For, for the, um, like in the United States or in the Western world, where they have better understanding of these things, do their waters have zinc? Yes, absolutely. So for Is it the, regulated by It's government? regulated by the FDA, the so, food and drug. To put zinc To there. put zinc in there. Not only the zinc, the selenide, the fluoride, mm. it's mandated. And so when you go to the store, you see the ones that doesn't have that, they're slightly cheaper, and there's a disclaimer, and you see the ones that do. You might need to pay 20 more cents on that, but you know, you are making that conscious decision 
that, okay, oh, I'm no longer in the business of making babies, I can buy this, mm. or I can't afford it, I'll buy this. So, but but, but um, looking at Nigerian diet, yes. the, is, there, is there also possibility that our diet is complementing mm. the, the, the lack absence of zinc, of zinc in, in what you maybe when you eat your amala and begiri, you have enough <laughs> zinc to to offset the lack of zinc in the, <laughs> in in the, the water. bottled water. Good. Actually, that's an excellent question because we were looking into that and saying, you, you know, if we're short here, is there other places mm. where we can? We're in this part of the world under the equator that we feel thirsty, mm. we sweat more, we have to drink more. So there are other foods, there are even some natural herbs, the regular cloves that will help you, the ginger, the garlic that will help you. Uh, there is nothing that will meet up the level of amount of water you need to consume mm -hmm. because your semen production depends on how well hydrated you are, not how much amola is in your body. It has to be the fluid content. Mm -hmm. And so we still want to push the essence of, you know, adding supplements to the bottled water. So we are, we are a race of baby killers. Absolutely. <laughs> we, are, we, are com we are committing, uh, what do you call it, infanticide. We, without and knowing. And the great, great state, we are committing uh, crime against, we, we, without against knowing. the coming without generation. Knowing. Honestly, honestly. And we're going to pay a price for that. Because if we're not making up, it's going to get to the point where we're... Let's talk about the health of the baby that we're making, in fact. Absolutely. Does it, does it have an impact there too? Absolutely. So when we talk about semen production, which is the spermatogenesis, when we analyze them in our clinics, we're looking at three modalities. How much is a man making in each ejaculation? How many of that is well-formed? When you and I don't have enough of this supplement, mm -hmm. you're not going to make well-formed semen, welcome sperm. And if that is able to move enough to get into the egg, the baby is not going to be as you and I want. So um, it's a bigger problem. Uh, what, uh, how, how do you recommend a, a policy on this matter? Because, because, because you are going to, this matter is not, it's not just a matter for um, yes. NAFDAQ or it's yes. for federal government, it's for the business yes. community, yes. it's for profit and so on. Uh, is it possible for us to say, okay, to solve this matter, we have to get... It's at a great cost, and that's a big infrastructure development mm. that is going, you know, especially the, when we have... Infrastructure order. for babies. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, need, we need to let our elected officials see how important this is, and even for short-term and long-term issues. Mm. So we have to make water a priority. When we make that a priority and we're educated consumers and we can go to our elected officials and say, mm. look, this is what's going on, because after all, most of them are men, they are fathers, grandfathers, and they will be expecting more babies. We need to let them know that the science is clear. Mm -hmm. This cannot be a partisan issue. So, so where do we start from in, in this implementation? Because the point there is, NAFDAQ is, um, is the body, you know, backed by authority yes. or by the law to give endorsements to anyone who wants to come up with uh, bottled water production and all of that. They all apply to NAFDAQ. And NAFDAQ sees your everything and say, oh, Carry go. So if zinc is not there and has this risk, and we, of course we believe that NAFDAQ is also a makeup of a lot of scientists, you know, pharmacists, whatever the thing is, and so on. How do we reconcile that? How do we start so from... I, I think we're taking the first step because you guys are the front leaders. So bringing this to the limelight and letting people realize it. Again, the more we know, the better we make decisions. So mm. we expect everybody to go to their medical doctor. Just go for your routine regular check. And if you are at that age or you are newly married and fertility is not coming, this is one area. Because the more abundant the data gets to them, it's going to get to the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. They are the ones that can empower NAVDAQ to tell NAVDAQ what to do. Because NAVDAQ as a body, if they have their think tank, the research is abundantly clear. We're not even expecting them to put their own money into R&D. Mm -hmm. This thing is out there, cut and paste. Mm -hmm. If it's good enough for the Western world, it's good enough for us. Many people have the impression that water is mm -hmm. to it. So to be pure, it has to be plenty. Plenty. Yeah, there has to be a lot of things in that. Into. So the pure water is not just H2O. Exactly. It is pure zinc. Zinc. Pure, pure right. calcium. Calcium. calcium that, yes. Yeah. Yes. So that, is, that, that helps to energize the body, body. and exactly. to strengthen, to strengthen, to strengthen us yes. all of this. Why is it that it is only the male that has to suffer for this? <laughs> <laughs>
it's an interesting thing. You know, I, I come to you as a men's doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only see men in my clinic. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the issues we deal with. So obviously, there might be a research coming about women. Because for decades, we've all taught infertility has to be a woman's issue. Mm -hmm. It has to do with their age. But now we're seeing the same thing, just like menopause in men, andropause. And this is what is actually leading to the emergence of men's health. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, men don't go to the doctor. So mm -hmm. for men to even be talking about, mm -hmm. you know, the issue of erectile dysfunction, the issue of not being able to get a woman pregnant, it's very personal. It affects the mm -hmm. who, who we are, our self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's one of those areas. I, I don't have an answer why it's not women, mm -hmm. but we know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but, but again, um, since you have a meeting with... Um, um, an examining man. Um, yes. Do they all say that they drink your this uh, bottled water? And mm -hmm. uh, then, then what what have you recommended for them to do? Since we don't have a situation where they they can actually go to drink the impure pump. water mm -hmm. because impure yes. water may make them even sick Seeker. enough. Exactly. Even sick enough to be impure. <laughs> that is true. So for you that come up with a problem, you want to offer them solution and you make it in tandem. It's, it's going to be in partnership. Mm -hmm. So we offer them the treatment because there are zinc supplements besides the tablet. There are mm -hmm. zinc injections that you can give them on and you let them see the importance of that. And you'll be amazed when they come back to you a few weeks later and you repeat the semen analysis, mm -hmm. seminal fluid analysis, and they see the it's really, it's amazing because there is nothing more thankful to a newlywed who have been in this for a year or two, mm. doing all the right things and they're just not getting any pregnancy. So mm. yes, we offer them supplements and it can be something as simple as multivitamins that mm. has the zinc content in it. Mm. I will not tell you not to drink your bottled water, but look, you, are, you have a time frame, you want to get your wife pregnant, so this is what you need to what do. What would you tell people who are aspiring uh, fathers, right, yes. the young, young mm. men? Yes. Uh, what kind of relationship do they have with their bottled water? Absolutely. It's a, good, it's a, it's a very interesting uh, pharmacy. Get multivitamins. I'm, not, I'm a proponent of just getting the right thing. I don't have any particular preference, but get the multivitamin and then continue your work. I read in, uh, I read in uh, the London Times years ago that it is better you get your supplements from food than from, uh, sorry, your, your, your vitamins diet, yes. from food. It was yes. actually a front page story. Better yes. you get your vitamins from food than from uh, supplements. Yes. Because um, the supplements are probably useless because if you have the right food. But, but yes. it looks like in Nigeria, Nigeria, our food, our food is, not, is not such that you can really get all the supplements. Because I read, I read somewhere that in Asia, the, in 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 the in Euro, European in the European the Western countries they get their nutrients raw from the food they eat. Yes. In uh, in Asian countries they, they get it half cooked. cooked. Yes. In Africa <laughs> we cook it to death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you put it there, when you put that the, when you put the the goose say ah you see never done. Yeah, so never when done. I say it done, yeah. but not not it dead. Then. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually we we expose all the natural nutrients to yes. overheating, yes. Yes. and that makes them disintegrate. Mm, You're yes. absolutely right. The right mm. source is our diet. Mm. If we can go back to what our fathers and grandfathers did, where they had organic. Yes. But mm -hmm. now we don't have access to the organic. Mm -hmm. Most of our stuff that might be imported are mm -hmm. even not as fortified mm -hmm. as they should be. Mm -hmm. So we need all to come together because we're all in this boat together. Mm -hmm. Well, fr from your observation uh, all the while, is it that all the bottled water don't have zinc or some have and others don't? I'm, what have you observed? I'm yet to see any bottled water in Nigeria with any form of supplement. They're wow. all pure, but there is none. No fluoride, no zinc, no selenite, none in their bottled water. Is this Aye. deliberate? Are they not supposed to be aware that they are killing? Yeah, their, exactly. They, they are, they are, they are, we, are drink, we are drinking. We are drinking our children to death. It's it's a matter of business. It's going to cost them a little more money, even though they don't have to invest in the research and development. The mm -hmm. data is out there, but in order for them to have the zinc and to have the calcium, the selenite, fluoride, it's an additional cost. Mm -hmm. And they've chosen the pathway of more maximize. Do you have data on this? Yes. What does the data say? Yeah, the data. The, so, the, the data, I mean, in figures. Do you yes. Have the, yeah. No, because we sell over to, what, 25 million bottles of water a day mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So that tells us that this, in terms of pennies on it, 
they're making a killing. It's a profit thing. And so if we have our elected officers, let them know. If we're not, if the semen is being affected now, we're not going to have enough of this. Mm. So it's a matter of having the appropriate body come out with the mandate and the business people will follow suit. Apart from infertility, what yeah. other, what other uh, risks do men face by, by the drinking bottled water without zinc, calcium, and so on? Absolutely. So what the data also tells us is in a subtle way is that the zinc, the selenide, and the fructose is not only essential for semen production, it's essential for the prostate gland's health. Mm -hmm. So now when this prostate is not getting all this that it needs for its own health, mm -hmm. then we're going to be seeing emergence of increased and large prostate. Mm -hmm. Because but, but now, we, always, we already have that. We already have that. that. Exactly. We already have exactly. so, so, much, so many reports, a lot of reports about uh, on around the prostate. Prostate, exactly. And this it, is getting worse. Could there be a link? Absolutely. That? Absolutely. Because the prostate needs to be a healthy organ. Whether you want to make babies or not, part of what it needs for itself is the fructose, is the selenide, is the calcium. And we can get that abundantly from our diet, can be supplemented from the water. If we're drinking more of the bottled water all day and it doesn't have that, we're not doing ourselves. Mm -hmm. I lost uh, two of my uh, classmates uh, wow. in the past few years. I, I lost one this year and another one a uh, couple of years ago to prostate. Wow. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they were not, they were not apparently yeah. old enough to, to die and so on. So, um, so, so, so while we are talking about fertility, we are also talking about prostate. prostate. That zinc must, zinc must be such an important element. Why is it that people don't talk about zinc at mm. all? It is vital. Yeah. we know about zinc, when yeah. about zinc is a <laughs> <laughs> they, they did a little bit during COVID, okay. because if you hear about different homemade remedies, yes. because zinc is also essential in your immune system. Mm. It helps to build your immunity. Mm. And 80% of your immune system is in your gut. We're talking about diet, what we put in our belly. So, yes, yeah, zinc is absolutely essential. Yeah, the semen production, the immune system, and our prostate health. Mm. And the research is still ongoing, so only God knows. What, what is the meal that we should avoid, especially um, if, if especially those who are aspiring to... Uh, what kind of meals should they avoid in order in order to preserve their zinc or in order not to kill their zinc. zinc. Absolutely. So this is going to be in a secondary explanation, right? Mm. So we recommend in men's health that for our future fathers to avoid eating swallows late. I'm talking mm. eba, amola, pounded yam. Mm. Don't eat them late. There is nothing wrong with them. You have to caution how much portion you eat. Why is that? Most of these are heavy carbohydrates. Mm. Most people, even halfway through, they're already snoring for Tell our patients, please avoid eating even heavy swallows late at night. Because oh, that's rice. Mm. Yeah, rice is fine. It's lots of wheat, especially if it's unprocessed. It's a lot of your pap. That's good. Oatmeal is excellent for you. There is the cloves. We have abundant amount of cloves around. It's good as spice, and it's good for men's health. Mm. So, uh, for... for, for all of us who drink uh, a lot of bottled <laughs> water, uh, if we have to start deliberately or intentionally begin to feed on zinc and all of that, how soon before one gets to that optimal, optimal level? You'll be surprised. Only about six weeks. About six, six weeks, weeks, you're going to it have It takes that adequate. long. Yes. You get adequate amount that seeps into your semen. Because remember, that part has minimal, minimal blood flow. Mm. So that means you have to consume your bottled water daily and then make sure you get your multivitamins. Mm. Or if you can get good balanced diet, all organic appropriately, yes, you'll be able to get enough zinc Ooh. down there. Why is it that enough information about this is not really out there? The jury is out, and I think part of it here is also a medical community. Nothing mm -hmm. against them. There has to be an aggressive CME, continuous medical education. Mm -hmm. We are made to do that in the U.S. Every time I renew my license every two years, I have to submit 50 credits. Mm -hmm. And this is something about latest you know, science research So in order to, to stay licensed in your field. Mm -hmm. So as it is, uh, did the doctors have some work to do here when it comes to being intentional? Because you, you brought it here. We, we don't know. You just go <laughs> get bottled water, you know, if I buy a lot of the packs and then you stuff, stuff the house with, a, with, you know, everybody wants to drink water. Oh, there's a little bit. Put water in the fridge and it's ice cold. <laughs> what impact does that also have? So we prefer your bottled water to either be lukewarm, room temperature, and if you're the type that you're aggressive, you're active, we actually prefer it to be a little warmer. Mm. 
cold is not necessarily warmer. Yes, warmer. Ah. Yeah. Cold is not necessarily good for you. But mm. because of our temperate, so most people, you come in, you are sweaty, exactly. you feel you need to quench your thirst. But in terms of how your body functions, your body and my body is full of hormones and enzymes. Mm -hmm. They work better when the temperature is lukewarm to a little warmer. Yeah. So I what, know of a okay. general who always drinks uh, warm water okay. after after meal. Uh, yes. it's, it's old now. It's in his eighties. Uh, but but we will also say that if you carry uh, bottled water and put it in the car, yes, and then there is. Uh, Disintegration heat, 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 yes. on the sun. They say it's not good to drink it. Absolutely. And that's not good because of the constituents of the plastic. Plastic, yeah. It oh, has all okay. these bad chemicals in it. That will, melt into, that the will water. melt into the water. And mm -hmm. most of us have that bad attitude. You leave it in your car, mm -hmm. your car is hot, no yeah. windows open, and yeah. then you continue drinking yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you are consuming. Those are heavy elements. They're mm -hmm. not good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, the, we have to leave you here for now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of uh, Is there work. anything we have not, we have, we have, we have not uh, discussed that you want people to know about this? <laughs> Absolutely, that men's health is important and mm. that we want more men to be aware. And, you know, you make a conscious decision about checking yourself out. There is nothing that should be a stigma about men infertility. It's not only a woman's problem. It's mm. an equal opportunity mm. offender. But women, so. women have to play a role because men tend to, I, I'm sure you're aware of this, yes. men tend to be very careless about their own health. Women are more careless. Absolutely. Yeah, check that water. I remember the uh, times where, I, uh, the, the times I used to drink carbonated water and, and I'm ordering for a bottle of, uh, you know, soda. And my wife is there, saying, hey, you're not taking you it. Like, you're oh, not taking okay, it. <laughs> all, right, all right, I obey. Commander in chief, I obey. All right, Dr. Rashid Abbas, thank you so much for thank coming you. on my the program. Pleasure. Thank you. Now, this is where we wrap up on the program. We need to let you know that the views and reaction of all our resource persons are their views and have no connection with TBC News. But next, after now,